Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the Kiwi Lads channel. Today I've got the start of round three of the Mitre 10 Cup. The first match is Wellington versus Bay of Plenty, and I am going to be Wellington for this game, have that home field advantage. Let's get right into it. Welcome to Sky Stadium. This is set to be a great game between these two teams. This game really could go either way. Both squads are packed with talent and experience. Former All Black Justin Marshall is here with me. And right, so something you will notice is the fact that I have left the All Black selected players in the teams. That is purely because without them, there are a lot of gaps of players who don't have real names or real faces. And I thought that this will add a little bit more flair to this series if I leave the All Blacks in those teams. Right, so those are the lineups. Two quite strong sides, you'd say. And they were very even for rating, so this game could go either way. A Teddy Black of Bay of Plenty to kick off. Here's the referee, and we're ready for kickoff. And they try the long. It's gone long. TJ Perinara is lining that one up. He has taken it well, but is nailed in the tackle. Coming up fast. Savi are playing halfback. Karifi goes wider to ba uh, Baba. Baba Black Sheep almost. Proctor has been tackled into touch. I was meant to say Garden Bashup. Here's a chance. Right, can we win this line out? They have got us under a bit of pressure here. Oh, but we have taken that line out back. Oh, and he's done an overhead. Tell you what, what a clearance that is. Perinara follows it up. Garden Bishop makes that tackle. Have we won that back? No, not quite. That was an interesting looking kick from whoever it was. I think it was about our number four. Oh, big hit there. On Tahiri Orangi by, I believe it was Perinara, and we have turned that ball over. I think we want to go wide here. Little offload has not quite worked out. Garden Bishop has got his arms tied up. They have plenty in very early. I'm going to put this on the boot. There's a lot of space back there that is going to bounce and they are now under pressure, they have plenty. We've put them in about the same position as they had us very early on. So hopefully we can win this line out against the throw once again. Oh, it's close. No, not quite. Oh, they look like they're going wide. They're working on it. Savia has not quite made that tackle, but Proctor has followed it up and has intercepted the ball. Chucks it, but it has been intercepted once again. They have plenty still have this. That was impressive. Sam Kane played halfback, then got the ball straight back. Oh, I want to take on this side here. Amua tries to lure them in, but he chucks it away. Savia has done well from a standing start to somehow keep that ball. Perinara to Garden Bishop. There's a big gap up the middle for Vince Arsol, who did not want to offload that. We're going this way to Blair. It goes to Garden Bishop. Oh no, he's dropped the ball, Jackson Garden Bishop. And outside him was the other Garden Bishop. I believe they are brothers. He just couldn't control the ball. Hey, oh, this could have been a try here. Blair goes to Garden Bishop, who just can't quite handle the ball. Ready to pack down for the scrum. Set. Can we win this scrum? Oh, it's close. But I don't think we're going to get it, no. Hurio Rangi goes off the back, tries to take on Perinara, but Perinara has made the tackle, and we have taken that ball straight back. Right, where are we going to find our gap here? Savio with the offload to Proctor, that's a huge gap up the middle. And Proctor scores the opening try of the match for Wellington. Right when I was saying, where is the gap? A huge gap the size of Africa <laughs> opens up. Savia so, yeah, playing halfback once again. He's been busy. Goes to Blair. And then it goes, oh, a lovely offload from Julian Savia up the middle for Proctor. No one's catching him. There was an acre of space around him. 
I'm not sure what happened to their defence. I guess we drew them all in. Savio, debatable whether that went backwards, but nonetheless, it is a try to Wellington, putting us 5-0 up at this stage. Shot at goal, still to come, and chance for right, Jackson Garden Basher, nice easy kick straight out in front. Shouldn't be any problems here. I'm going to watch it go past a couple times just to work it out. There we go. Now I did miss about five kicks I think I missed in round one. No, not round one, sorry, round two. And that was slightly concerning, so I think I need to work on my kicking a little bit. Definitely because in one of those games it did cost us the draw, and in the end we did lose. Oh, is anyone committing? Yes, they are. Right, they haven't got a fullback once again. So I'm going to go for this little cheeky kick from Perinara in behind. He did get tackled as he made that kick, so he didn't get much distance on it. Oh, that's dangerous. Proctor's stolen that. Oh, but they've taken it straight back. Once again, Savia with a big hit. And the other Savia brother. And then they have knocked it on. Perinara has been smashed in the tackle. It is all go at the moment. Garden Basher goes to Arso. Boy, they've got numbers out here. And, he's to the and we did not really, but we have kept that. We've still got the advantage rolling. Blackwell. Oh, where'd you go, mate? The one guy in support decided he'd run away. Luckily, we did still have that advantage. That was interesting. It looked like a little two-on-one. Or it was two-on-two, two, but I was going to be able to lure them both in. But then the guy who was outside me just left and left Blackwell all to himself. Set play time. We're going wide. We're trusting Julian Savia's pace on the wing. They are very inwards. The defender Savia out there has tried to shunt him off. Has been tied up but has done very well to stay in the field of play. Savia once again plays halfback. I think it was him. It may not have been though. Arsol finds a bit of a gap. Little soft pass out to Garden Basher. That's got to be Bay of Plenty's ball. It is Not enough players to the the forwards for them. We're in the right place at the right time. If that guy didn't have a standing start, I think he would have been able to get away there. We have taken that straight back, though. That is the half-time siren. Belassi. No, it's not. That's not quite his name. Proctor goes to Garden Bishop. He goes wider, but there's no one there. Sam Kane's the one putting boot to ball. Savio has that one covered. Is nailed in the tackle. Chucks it to Renata, who goes wider to Garden Bishop, who has got Arso on his outside. Does a little step. Chucks it to Proctor. Perinara at halfback. Arso goes to Blackwell. Does a little lobby one to Garden Bishop. That would almost be. No, it wasn't Sam Kane's ball. There is a huge gap for Fita. Does a skip pass out to Arsol, who goes back to Garden Bishop. He's going to put a little chip in behind. Oh, he didn't quite get the ball though. And that is out. We are going into half time 7 0. This game has been a back and forth one. Eight handling errors for us, one for them, but we have had more of the possession. But this game could still go either way. They seem like. They could capitalise on one of our mistakes here. We've got to be very careful when we throw the ball away. Garden bashed up two kick off for Wellington. Start the second half. Ah, so oh, what a huge hit! Oh, Perinara makes that tackle. Have not got that ball yet. Surely they they got to be setting up for a kick, don't they? It doesn't look like they are. Carroll takes it out They're trying to run it out. I'm not sure if that's the best idea. We've seen it fail many times when people do this tactic. I think they still have this one. I think I could have almost had that. The ball was beautifully presented. He's being nailed in the tackle. We have intercepted that. Believe it. Turnover. They've been losing the ball far too easily. Fita goes to Proctor, goes out to Garden Bishop. It's a draw and pass. Julian Savia scores. Too easy, some would say. 
but it all came from Bay of Plenty not wanting to clear the ball. Perinara, I believe he must have been in the ruck, because Savia once again. He goes to Fafita, who goes out to Proctor, who goes to Garden Bash at one more. Julian Savia has got the pace. They aren't catching him, and we have scored once again as Wellington. They've got their five, they could get their Harder seven. kick this the time for Jackson Garden Bishop though. This is a tough one. Right, the wind is not in our favour here. We are in Wellington, so it is probably blowing a bit. Oh no, I've waited too long to do that next bit. Ever. Oh no, oh no. Tell you what, you got a hold of that. Right, still 12-0 to Wellington. I don't know what to say about that kick. Other than I got the first part right, but of course it's a two-part equation. So the kick off. Terry Black kicks off. Kerefi lines that one up. Easy catch for him. Still there. Goes to Blackwell, goes to Garden Bishop who is nailed in the tackle. And not only nailed in the tackle, he looks like he has done some damage. damage. Looks like he's done some damage to that leg. Okay, so we don't actually have a spear fly half. But, of course, those of you who watched Super Rugby Aotearoa will know that the man who is playing halfback for us at the moment, Perinara, he loves to get his hands on the ball at fly half. So we are going to make that switch. Perinara is going to slot into the fly half role. And Luke Brady is going to be our scrum half. Amua is very tired, I see. So I am going to sub him for... Tell you what, he's highly rated, whoever that was. Little. Right. So a little change up. Perinara for now is still half back though. And a good hit. Oh, we've been hit hard in the scrum. scrum looks a bit What's that? What the? And now it's just Brady's ball out the back, apparently. Okay. Interesting. I would have... Yeah, alright. I'm not going to question it. <laughs> we well and truly lost that scrum. And then they just gave Brady the ball. Right, it has been kicked out. Piranara will now be playing 10, and Brady is playing 9. I have to say, there are quite a few glitches still lurking around, and I'm hoping they will be fixed before the full game comes out. Right, the first throw for Little. Oh, it's a little bit on their side, but I think it should be alright. Yeah, Blackwell to Brady. It goes out to Perrineau, who is now playing 10. Renata goes wider to Proctor. Has he got the pace? No, he doesn't. We were getting a bit squeezed down that side. Brady goes to Borlassi, is it? Renata goes wider to Savia. He shunts one off. Chucks it out the back to Perrineau. Has he got the pace? He's got a man outside him. He actually made it round that guy. I think he may have been able to go himself. But I didn't commit to the pass or the step. Instead, I did both. Perinara is back. Oh, was that forward? It was close, but Perinara has chucked a forward pass. Very unfortunate. Bay of Plenty. We know that they don't seem to like to kick that often. They did kick that last time. But before that, it did cost them a try against them. Oh, they're trying to set play. Organise themselves for a set play. Delivers it back inside. Breaks through. Sam Kane has run into about five of our forwards. Gives it off now. Solo tackle there. Oh, he almost made it to his feet in time. Good hit from Alex Fidel there. It was almost enough to turn the ball over, but not quite. Strong Oh, we're driving them backwards, and we have stolen that ball. I'm going to go this way. Fidel goes to Savia. Oh, he, he seemed to have a bit of a stutter there, Savia. But he has got his second of the match, Julian Savia. Making it 17-0 to Wellington now. That guy is a bit offside, I will say. 
Fidel goes to Savi, who wasn't sure if he could generate enough pace to get over the line, but he does. Julian Savia gets his second of the match in Wellington's third. Trent Renata is now kicking. Now, I could go with the excuse of Garden Bishop was holding his leg, wasn't he? So maybe, maybe he didn't actually have the ability to kick that last one over. Maybe there was a bit of an injury there. I'll go with that. It wasn't the fact that so I well and truly stuffed here. it up. Has Renata got his first kick? Oh, it's coming round. Yes, he has. It was a bit close, but he does get it. 19-0 to Wellington now. Oh, they've only got a few minutes to make something. But Terry Black, two kick off for Bay of Plenty once again. Five minutes left of this match. Fidel has taken that well, but he is. He ended up giving it away straight away. Karefi has missed that tackle. They've drawn him in. Renata has made that tackle, has he? Oh, they're going for it. What a tackle from Brady to push them into touch. It was Karpik. Oh, they've only got a few minutes to make something. Okay, this is a pressure line out here. Oh, it's on their side again a little bit. But we have got that. I'm going to drive out a little bit. Or I'd like to if they let me. Now. <laughs> that one was a long one. Right. The thing with this is I would like to kick it out. But then that wouldn't give us the ability to do this. Julian Savia. He's only gone and he's going to get his hat trick. Julian Savia scores between the posts. What I was going to say down the field was that I probably should just clear this by kicking it out. But then it just opened up. Julian Savia, he did have Perinara outside him for a bit. But he saw the line from 75 out and he said, hang on, I've got the pace. To Julio Rangi trying his best to catch him, but he couldn't quite get there. Julian Savia scores between the sticks and well and truly confirms the win for Wellington in this game. It was always just that couple metres ahead of Tahuri Orangi, who was unable to catch him. Julian Savia scores the hat-trick. Trent Renata gets a nice easy one to finish this game off. And he has kicked it. There's the conversion. Two from two for Trent Renata, not too bad. Being asked to kick when Garden Bishop was of course injured. And that is the game. Wellington, victorious over Bay of Plenty, 26-0. Unfortunately for that Bay of Plenty team, we just shut them out of the game. Is about how you put it. Any time they had it, it was in their 22. And then they either had to clear it, or we just took it off them and scored. Three for Savia, one to Proctor. And then Garden Bishop made one conversion, then he came off injured, and then Renata got the other two. Possession, they, they brung it back a bit in that second half. We of course had way more handling errors, but pretty one-sided game. Wellington victorious over Bay of Plenty. Anyway, that's the end of this video. If you did enjoy, please leave a like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.